Hi, my name is Luis Cabrera. I am a Senior Director of Product Management working on AI services here at Oracle. Uh, today we're going to do a deep dive on how you can gain insights from unstructured content using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And uh, while we're going to focus on a very specific pr problem, uh, the problem of customer feedback analytics, uh, the pattern that we're going to talk about will be very useful for many scenarios. So about 80% of the world's data is in some kind of unstructured format. Uh, usually it's text, but there are all kinds of unstructured data out there. Uh, images, uh, you may have uh, sp speech files, you may have forms, you may have all kinds of different types of document. And uh, usually you need to transform that information before it becomes uh, useful to you so that you can get insights out of that piece of information. So we also have a lot of this information. So I want you to think of a scenario where you are uh, the owner of several hotels and uh, you were smart enough to essentially start asking for, for feedback after people had stayed at your properties. So a few years have passed and now uh, you have all this data, uh, but you realize that you haven't really been using it uh, to improve your business. So usually your data will look something like this. So, so here I have a, a spreadsheet with thousands and thousands of, uh, of uh, reviews, right? So every, every row here is one review from one, a customer that may be happy or not, or not uh, very happy about uh, the service that they got or the, or the, I don't know, maybe the location or of the hotel or, or the food. Um, so we want to be able to use this information to improve uh, our product. But there is just so much information here. So we're going to take the data um, that is in some kind of a structured format in, uh, in this case, a CSV file or a set of CSV files in the data lake or object storage. And uh, we need to ingest the information. We need to extract insights out of that information. And then we want to analyze and visualize uh, the insights that we extracted. So for that, we're going to use data integration as our uh, master orchestrator. Essentially, data integration will be able to ingest information from our data source and uh, it will uh, call our AI services. Uh, in this case, we're going to call OCI language that has the capability of extracting uh, aspects out of, a, out of a review and uh, sentiment based on those aspects. So for instance, if, uh, if a review were to say, hey, the, the hotel was beautiful, uh, the staff was very kind to me, but the breakfast food was not so great. Uh, it will extract aspects such as hotel, breakfast, and staff. And it will tell me that hotel and breakfast had positive sentiment, but staff had negative sentiment, as an example. So we're going to do that. We also have the ability to extract entities such as uh, names of people, locations, organizations, events. Um, so we're going to use OCI language in order to do this type of uh, uh, enrichment or so extraction of insights from the, from the reviews. We're going to use serverless functions. And the reason we're going to do that is because data integration has the ability to connect to any serverless function that you write. So even if you want to create your own uh, machine learning based enrichments, you could do that. In this case, the, ser the serverless functions are going to help us as the abstraction layer between AI services and data integration. And uh, once we have extracted all these insights, essentially you know, multiple records uh, for each review, we're going to project that information into a set of tables. Uh, we're going to use the autonomous data warehouse as our, um, as our destination or our target uh, uh, database in this case. Um, you could have picked a different target. Uh, this is the one that we picked in this case. And we're going to go one step further, which is um, connecting the data or the data warehouse to uh, the Oracle Analytics Cloud so, so we can actually visualize uh, and get an insight of what's going on in our hotels, how people feel about uh, each of these aspects, and get a, a bigger picture of what's going on uh, with the reviews. 
Here we are in the Oracle Cloud Console, and I am going to show you how um, we use data integration. So I'm going to um, navigate to Analytics and AI, and then there is the data integration section, and uh, open my workspace, and then select the uh, data flow that we created for this uh, for the customer feedback analytics uh, scenario that we have been discussing. So in this case, um, each of the blocks that you see here is a is a step in this pipeline, uh, or that is a, a data flow, right? Uh, the first one tells it to review or ingest the information from from object storage. In this case, uh, you can see that uh, it even tells it what file to read. It could read several files. Uh, in this case, in that file, there are thousands and thousands of reviews. Um, the next two steps are expressions, um, and these expressions allow you to massage the format or metadata uh, of the data. For instance, in this case, I wanted to treat uh, one of the columns as a date and another column uh, as an integer, so this is essentially why I'm using expressions. Then uh, we go to the more interesting part, in my opinion, which is actually called custom functions or serverless functions. One of them is uh, calling or named entities AI service, uh, or rather it's the, the OCI language service and the named entities endpoint in that, uh, in that service. And another one is calling the sentiment um, uh, analysis aspect of, uh, of OCI language. And um, you can see, for instance, if we were to look at the sentiment aspect, we can look at the output attributes and uh, I can see that uh, for each review, it extracts a piece of text, which is the text uh, that identifies the aspect. It, um, it tells us the sentiment, whether it's positive or negative, and uh, the offset and, and length of the, of the actual aspect that got identified, right? So this is just essentially, we can further peel the onion. We can find more information about each of the records. Similarly, the, the step that we did, um, earlier to, uh, to find uh, the entities, we'll, we'll find different entities in our text. And then we take that information and we project it. We project it into, into this um, data sync, which is a set of uh, tables um, that uh, we have created in Data Warehouse. Uh, one table for the reviews, another one for the sentiment aspects and the aspects that we extracted, and another one for the entities uh, that we extracted. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, now we can join these tables, we can uh, kind of reason over these tables, and there are tools like Oracle Analytics Cloud that are very good at this. So, so that's, that's our goal. So, so that's very exciting. Now, let's take a look at uh, what one of these projected tables may look like. Okay, so we are here looking at the Oracle Database Actions, um, the, the, the SQL tool that allows me to query each of these projected databases. Uh, so I just issued a query to look at uh, the, the actual reviews. And one thing that you will notice is that for a given review, that is one record, uh, one record ID, and obviously the, the, the single review. So one, one row per, uh, per review, essentially, right? If I were to select uh, all, the, uh, senti all the records in the sentiment uh, table, you will notice that I have a bunch of these uh, different aspects on sentiment, right? But it is possible that uh, a given record, uh, you can see, or a, rather, a uh, given review will uh, span several records in that table. So, so in this case, there are four rows, uh, four uh, record or ID ten thousand and nine, which is the the actual ID of the review, uh, because there could be several aspects mentioned in a in a review. In this case, uh, the the customer is talking about the suite, the staff, the city. Uh, Russell's maybe the name of the of the restaurant inside the hotel, and uh, you know in this case we can see the aspect for each of these elements, which it was always positive in this case. So so they must be doing something well there. So 
now that we have these uh, tables, we can actually um, visualize them using uh, the Oracle Analytics Cloud. Inside Oracle Analytics Cloud, um, I have imported each of the tables, the entities table, the sentiment table, and the reviews table, as you can see right here, and um, join them using the, the record ID, uh, which was a constant uh, that we kept in the data flow, so that uh, we can create visualization that uses uh, all of this information. As an example, um, we have, a, a, in this case, a, a chart here that tells us the uh, count of reviews uh, by quarter. Uh, they are colored based on the, on the sentiment. Uh, so if it's positive sentiment, they are green. If it's a negative sentiment, uh, the reviews are shown as red. And very quickly, you can start to see insights, right? I can see that uh, every four quarters, essentially, there was kind of a spike in the number of reviews that I got. So, so that tells me that maybe during summer, there were more customers uh, visiting my properties. But I am concerned to see that uh, over the last two years or so, maybe two and a half years, there has been a, a decrease in the number of uh, people leaving reviews. Uh, so I also may want to find out, hey, what am I doing well or what am I not doing well lately? So I'm going to select the last, uh, I don't know, the last four quarters or so. And um, given that selection, my uh, uh, work cloud on the right, uh, you know, got updated. And then uh, given that, I can select uh, a particular aspect of this. Uh, so for instance, I have some reviews related to parking. I can click see reviews. Because I joined the data, it is possible for me to actually uh, find those uh, reviews given the aspect. And I can uh, essentially uh, look for uh, why, why are people not happy about my parking, right? It looks like charges for parking, parking at XT will cost you $16 per night, have to pay $16 a day for parking, parking is expensive, underground par parking is, uh, is a gong show. So look, it looks like, uh, like I have a problem because people are not happy because I am charging just too much for parking. My, my hotel is a, is a luxury hotel. It's a, it's a place where people are spending several hundred dollars a night. Maybe I should just not charge for parking or, or maybe give it complimentary for, for top guests. But now I have insights. Now I, I can decide what to do with my data. Now I can decide how to make changes given all this completely unstructured data that I had at the beginning, thanks to the power of, uh, of AI. Notice that I did not have to be a data scientist in order, in order to leverage the power of this, uh, you know, state-of-the-art deep neural network models. And that's because AI services uh, makes it possible for me to just consume them. These are uh, pre-built models that I can use for tasks such as this one. In retrospect, we learned how to ingest unstructured data. We learned the power of AI services and how we can uh, consume them thanks to orchestrators such as data integration. We learned about the power of the autonomous data warehouse and how uh, using Oracle Analytics Cloud, we can visualize and analyze some of these uh, insights that we extracted uh, from, from this unstructured information. This is a pattern that you can apply. It has been a pleasure to be with you and I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.